hey guys so thank you for watching um so this tutorial is kind of just like a prompt tutorial pretty much i mean that's what it says and guys i literally just like blew, i just blow dried my hair and i don't put heat on my hair because my hair gets damaged like super easily but i was like what the heck whatever so yeah i blow dried my hair and i i really like how it came out but um so I'm gonna dye my hair soon. I'm not gonna tell you guys what color, but I'm pretty excited. So yeah, and um, I do have two requests for like, um, I guess it's like a perfect matte lipstick kind of, and I will be doing that after this video and I also have one for highlight and contour. So definitely, um, you know, keep in touch and subscribe so you get notifications when I post a video. So. Yeah, alright, well, um, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and share with your friends. Um, yeah, enjoy. Bye. Alright, hey guys, so I honestly tried to made, make this whole look using the Tartlet and Bloom Tarte palette. And first off, I started off with the Flower Child um, as my transition color. And this is just going to help blend all the eyeshadows in together. And I already primed my eyelids, and like always, I'm using the Milani Eyeshadow Primer. This is honestly like the best drugstore primer ever. I absolutely love it. But yeah, I'm just pretty much priming my, um, or doing, putting on the Flower Child as my base eyeshadow. So now I'm going in with the Sweetheart, which is kind of like, um, it's like a really light pink, peachy kind of shade. Um... Yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and try to make, er, try, er, blah, blah, blah. I'm just going to go in and, you know, just make my crease. And, yeah. And like I have said before, you always want to start off with a light shade and then make your way up to darker. So now I'm going in with the Rebel. Um, and it's right it's the eyeshadow right next to it and again it's more of like a pinkish shade but this is it's transitioning into more of like a um burgundy shade more of a dark reddish brownish color i don't know it's really hard to explain so now i'm going with the leader and i'm going to show you guys um how to put this on your brush so i used an angled kind of brush and i'm putting it right on the tip not on the entire brush because that's not gonna it's just going to put it on too heavily. So you want to put it on the very tips and then kind of make it look like kind of like a cut crease. And then you're going to go in and blend everything. So you don't have to worry about making it look like really bad. So now I'm going with the Activist. And this is like, a, it's the second darkest brown shade there is. And like I said before, you're just going to try to make like, not literally a cut crease because this is not a cut crease. But just kind of like make a line. You know what I mean? And then you're going to go in and sh um, blend everything in. So you don't got to worry about it looking bad. And so now I'm going in, I believe, with the Rebel. And I'm just going in and just kind of, um, you know, just, I guess, like blending it all together. Um, but I'm not blending it yet, yet, for sure. Like, I'm just going in with the lighter shade so that it doesn't look too harsh. So now I'm getting the firecracker um, shade, and I'm gonna go ahead and fix my or spray my Mac Prep and Prime Fix Plus. And guys, seriously, if you do not have this, and you are like obsessed with like shimmer eyeshadows, you have to get this. This seriously makes your eyeshadows so much more pigmented, and you will see how pigmented this is. Like what? Like I'm not. I am shining like it is so pretty I absolutely love 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 this spray I use it like every single time I'm using a shimmer eyeshadow so this eyeshadow look is not very glittery because I did want to kind of make like a prom somewhat themed eyeshadow since my prom is this month or not this semester this weekend but I'm actually not going to prom but I just wanted to do like a not so shiny, not so basic 
eyeshadow look because a lot of my friends are wearing really glittery dresses and I feel like if you're wearing a super glittery eyeshadow like and it's just like you just splatted your face with glitter and then your um, dress has a bunch of glitter I don't know I just feel like it wouldn't stand out as much as your dress should but whatever okay so right now I'm just going ahead and blending the shimmering eyeshadow with the mattes and yeah you just want to go ahead and start blending that So now I got the leader shade and mixed it with the activist, which those two are the burgundy kind of shade and then the brown one. And you just want to go ahead and make your crease a bit darker and more give it more dimension on it. And then you just want to go ahead and start blending. Then I went back with the firecracker and I put a little bit more glitter or shimmery eyeshadow onto it and that was it. Nothing special just went back. Put a little bit more and I'm about to start blending again. Just making sure that it doesn't look so harsh. Alright, so I already put on my lashes, and this is the Clean Color American Idol Wet Dry Baked Eyeshadow in the shade Plum. And since the the top of my, um, or the eyeshadow on top of my lid, it was more of like a copper kind of look, I wanted to try and do like a purpley, um, purpley, a purple, um, kind of eyeshadow on the bottom. And you will see later I'm going to go back in with like a dark brown because I just felt like, I don't know, it was a little bit too bright purple. So I'm going in with the brown and I'm going in with the activist, which is the brown that I used on top. But anyways, like I was saying before, so I already put on my um, eyelashes and I used the car lashes in the number 43. Um, this is the first time that I used these lashes and I absolutely loved them. They are so pretty, like... Oh, I just love car lashes like and they're only one dollar like what else can you ask for they're bomb so now I'm going in with the I believe it was the charmer eyeshadow and I just went in the um, inner corners and just making that a bit brighter and this is the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes mascara and like I have told you guys before I love 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 this mascara it is it makes your lashes very curly and it doesn't clump them up as much like the better than sex mascara it kind of spreads them out and it gives them that lit little pretty butterfly effect and yeah I just really like those so now I'm going in with the I believe this is the naked illuminated shimmer powder thing um, I got the lightest shade, and I love, love this. I usually don't wear it as a highlighter. I wear it more as, like, for my inner corners, eyeshadow, just things like that. And I'm going in with the MAC Prep and Prime Fix Plus Spray just to set in my makeup. So this is the finished result. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching this. Um, I will try to get the other videos up as soon as possible. Um, again, thank you for watching. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.